This is the Speedy Universal Prop Bouncer. Both the high impact clear plastic. The uprights are slotted into the base and then glued in so that they're exactly perpendicular to the, the body. There are two embedded hardened steel wires that are exactly parallel from end to end uh, so that the, 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 the distance between here and here fits the rod and they're exactly uh, level with each other. It, there's a line on here next to this slot and that's for using when you put the, when you want to dynamically balance a prop you put that line on the edge of the table and you level the mechanism and occasionally on a really heavy prop you may have to put a small weight or something over here to keep it from uh, being out of balance the as you can see that slot will take a fairly large prop you bounce up to a 16 inch prop probably bigger uh, but this thing is is very sensitive there's only two points of contact with that rod as you can see and it's very very sensitive and makes for a highly accurately balanced prop this is the rod itself which is made on a high precision uh, CNC machine CNC lathe that makes it nearly perfectly smooth from end to end the very end of it is chamfered a little bit so that the the cone which is cut on the same type of lathe highly polished and to high tolerances so that the, the rod fits on the end of the, the cone itself and there's no slot back and forth so that you're def definitely in the center when you assemble the whole mechanism. Here is the assembly with a prop installed on it. This is a conventional prop with uh, holes big enough on both sides for the cones to, uh, to go into. You have a neoprene rubber stopper with a washer on the end of it, then the spring, then the cone, then the prop itself, then the other cone inserted in the other side, and then another neoprene stop here, and you assemble it so that the prop is, is in the center of the mechanism. Uh, from end to end so it would be in the center of the balancer. Some props you'll find will have a flat side on one side with a hole in it and the other side will be uh, have a larger hole and in that case where maybe the cone won't go into this hole the way you assemble that is you put this cone on this end uh, on and then you take the flat side instead of putting the the, the pointed part of the cone in, you put the flat side on it like this, then you put the other cone in, so that it goes into the hole, and the flat side of the prop is here, and the flat side of the cone is here, and this suspends the, the prop directly in the center for, for balancing, then you, then you put the neoprene stop on, Slide it on and be sure that all the, when you assemble it, the cone goes into the hole and that the prop is right about the center of the mechanism. If it's not, slide this down, push everything together like this. To begin balancing the props, you place the balancer on the edge of the surface, and there's, if you can see that line that goes right on the edge of the table so that the prop has the opportunity to go down through here if it needs to. And first thing you gotta do is check the, the, the level of the mechanism. And this one seems to be wanting to come this way. So what I do is I take about two stickies, sticky notes. Put them right, right in here. Make sure my line's on the side. That, that, that rod doesn't want to roll one way or another, which tells me the mechanism is level this way. To statically balance a prop, you take the whole symbol uh, rod and, and prop assembly, put it in the center of the balancer, put the prop over this slot, and the heavy side should go down, which tells me that this side right here 
is really heavy making this side here the light side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape from here to here. And I use that uh, just cheap dollar store tape, which is, I'll get that for like two or three for a dollar. Take a really long piece, which I know will be probably too much, but I need excess so I can cut it off. As, now we're going on the light side, starting close to the hub. Putting the tape on, going all the way out to the end. And we know that that's probably way too much so that this becomes the heavy side. Okay, that wasn't near enough. Uh, apparently this side is a lot heavier than I thought, so we'll take another piece of tape. Put that on the end. Uh, to get the most effective balance, I'm going to put this out here on the end like this. Right on top of that other piece of tape so it'll stick. And see if we got enough tape to make this which was the light end, the heavy end. Don't look like we need to add more tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square this. I'm going to square this end off to get this tape that's going over the end here off of it. I'm going to take a fairly new blade I cut all the way through the prop and I peeled this off. And since I know I need more tape now, I'm going to put it out here on the end. It'll have the most effect. Let's see if we got that prop, that side to be the heavy side. It looked like we got pretty close. Need a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is take that piece I cut off and put it in here but next to the hub. So we can see if it, what effect that has. Okay. We succeeded in now making this the heavy end. So what I'm going to do it's right here at the end, and we'll cut off about, about this much. Take my blade and stick it under there to pick up both those pieces. Peel them off. Put the bouncer back on. And it looks like we got pretty close. I'm a little bit light on this end. So I'm going to set that tape back down here where it won't have as much effect and see what we come up with. Still a little bit, a little bit more tight down here. Alright, we're showing to be a little bit heavy here. Should put the tape a little bit down on the end, so I'm gonna just a little bit off this end down here. You can see that's just a very small sliver of tape. That's just about as good as you can get. Maybe a little bit heavy still. I'm going to cut another piece of tape. A little bit. Take a little bit of and peel it off there. There you go. That's about as balanced as you can get a prop. Now that particular prop was a little bit on the 
messed up side, uh, but you can get you can get a most some props bounce quicker than that, but sometimes you have to go through this process to get it just right. This same procedure would have to be done with about any bouncer you use, uh, but the sensitivity of the speedy prop bouncer makes it uh, a little more delicate, but when you get through, you've got a prop that you know will bounce from end to end. This particular prop shows to be pretty well dynamically bounced, which means that the, there's no heavy side to the hub here and here, and the way you check that is you put the prop in a in a position other than straight up and down and it should stay there uh, if it doesn't what will happen is the heavy side of the prop will try to rotate to the bottom and you can check that and be sure which which side is the heavy side by uh, on, a, on one that's not dy dynamically balanced this doesn't just happen to come out of the box balance it'll want to go down and that'll indicate the, the heavy side will want to go to the bottom so if that this side want to keep going down that tell me that this is wanting to rotate over so what I do is I take uh, super glue and uh, apply it to this side a big big wad of it and then I'd hit it with, with accelerator and try it again until it stayed to it stay in any position uh, no matter where I put it and then I'd swap it around be sure it stayed in the same position. If it didn't, I'd add more weight if I needed to. Or if I hadn't to put too much on it, uh, what I'd do is I'd let it get hardened uh, with the accelerator. Then I'd scrape small amounts off of it until it, uh, until it did stay where it needed to stay. Let's say you've determined that this is the, the, the light side of the prop and you want to overcome the, the heavy side. What you do is you simply take super glue and a little bit of weight on there and you hit it with a zip picker and it becomes really hard really fast and it's, it's good for adding weight. We've also had good luck with uh, hot melt glue. Uh, that works well. And let's say we put too much on there. And we have put the prop back on and it proved to be too heavy. So this is going to simulate that we've got too much. Okay, and then we find that now this has become the heavy side. What we need to do is go back in a little at a time, trim some of this off. Check the prop again. If it's still the heavy side, crimp some off. Check the prop again and eventually you'll get it where it's perfectly balanced and it'll stay in the same position at a 45 degree angle, or 27 and a half, or 90 degrees, whatever. And it wants to stay in the same position all the time. Thank you very much. The Speedy Universal Prop Bouncer can also be used for hub props where there's not a hole all the way through. You just have the, the blind hole where the shaft goes in. And you do it essentially the same way as you do the other bouncer. And it's ultra sensitive and really helps eliminate jello and uh, problems with the motor balance.